Do you think that, I mean, do you think that these terms have any utility whatsoever? Hi, my name's Dan. How you doing? Do you think these terms, racist, sexist, bigot, homophobe, do you think they have any utility whatsoever anymore? Or do you think that they're just like thought terminating cliches used to shut people down who may not like like twerking nine-year-old drag kids? Who have been asserted that they're gay or trans or something are, like are that? You part of the what's the what group are you with? Uh, just independent, not a Christian. Uh, well, they don't seem to be here. Uh, yeah, I do have skeptical uh, thoughts about this whole thing, though. I'll tell you. I'll tell you that. You, you don't think? I mean, the, the the overall protest here is against. I, I've read up on on this group and what they're here for. Right. They're, they're representing a fundamentalist Christian perspective. They're anti-abortionists. They're they're and they're here to protest. Anti, they're they're anti-homosexuality. Okay. And they're coming from it from an evangelical Christian perspective. Are we still having a conversation? Here? I'm just. I'm sorry. I'm distracted by all the noise. No, it's okay. They're 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 they're, 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 com they're coming from this from an evangelical Christian. perspective. Okay. Now, I, there are so many different directions we can go with this thing, okay? But let me just start here, okay? Right. I can, I can cite polls from Christian, Christian polling companies that say that, here, I'll tell you right now. Well, they think that homosexuality is an abomination of, of God and whatnot. You think that could be yes. Leviticus, right? I don't think that. I mean, I'm not, I, I, I see problematic elements in the culture. I could say that vaguely, but I think most people can agree How with that. How much time do you spend in the culture? I don't know. Oh. Not sure. Like in, the, like going to, I don't know. I don't. I mean, I lived around here for a while, but I don't know if that really counts. Oh. I'm distracted well, very I'm easily. <laughs> you can ask me stuff if you want. He doesn't have much patience. Uh, I'm well, you I'm scared. What, what do you think is problematic? Well, I'm. I think a lot of people, secular or otherwise, are skeptical about bringing kids around like men in hypersexualized clothing, de telling them to deconstruct their gender and their whiteness. That sort of like radical leftist sort of. Don't you think that's sort of like propagandizing and maybe even sometimes sexualizing kids? We, they just read stories about like how whiteness is like problematic, probably. Or... No, do you know what story they're reading today? But I mean, it's just like, story, it's just like generally, it's a, I mean, it's not, maybe not today, but like generally. No, I mean, like at the drag queen story hour, they just read stories. I, I mean, right. I mean, I've looked into some of the stories. They're kind of like yeah. radical, aren't well, like they? What story? Like, what fuck. What are they reading today? Just that they're generally about sort of how gender isn't objectively real and how whiteness needs to be sort of like challenged, that what, sort of general, story? like intersectional, intersectionality is like sort of a, the, I, I apologize, at the, off the top of my head, I can't really remember. I'll go find out what story they're reading today. What, do, you, do you identify yourself as white supremacist? <laughs> no, no. White nationalist? No, uh, I think that whites are getting kind of dunked on. I think, whites I think. are getting dunked on? It's a little bit, yeah. Yeah, in our culture, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you are. So your argument is to laugh at me? Okay. You, you, you feel intimidated I'm not by, argue with you. By, you don't have by the progress of, um, of uh, inclusion and, and intersectionality that intimidates you? I don't, what, what do you mean? I mean, like, it's it's explicitly anti-white. It's talking about ending whiteness. No, that, yeah, it is. No, no, it, no sure it is. No, it isn't. Name, name one famous person who makes, who's not, like, a total French person, just a mainstream, very progressive person. Who's, who, who comes out and says that. Well, people like, uh, you know, what's his name? Uh, Sean King and Jess, Jesse Smollett and... Uh, Can you give me an exact quote from yeah. that? Oh, please. Like a He's a fraudster, but y'all stand with him or... I don't stand with you. That's cool. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, how are white people being dumped out of Milwaukee? Do you remember when 51% of black men in the city have been incarcerated? Is it because they commit more crimes or no? No, it's because they commit the exact same amount of crimes. You want to look that up for me? They're arrested three times more for nonviolent drug offenses than white people. Is that all they're doing or? No, I'm not saying that's all they're doing, but you're not answering my question. They commit a higher per capita rate of no, every... they arrested three times more for nonviolent drug offenses. They commit a higher per capita rate of every category of violent crime. No, it's the FBI crime statistics and... Do you consider yourself a libertarian at all? No, he considers himself an asshole. I've been, I don't know. I've been called a whole bunch of things, but... I don't know. Do you consider yourself a libertarian? No. I'm calling you anything. No. No, no, libertarians are misguided on a lot of stuff, I think. Okay, so you believe 
than I'm more skeptical of capitalism than they are, I, I would say, but I'm not like entirely. They, they fetishize the market. I don't. Libertarian on all the, like, the shittiest. Well, libertarian would be like excessively skeptical about cops and whatnot, which I am somewhat, but not. Here's the, here's, here's the thing, if I can just uh, give you a little. Give you some, let me try to give you some perspective here. I'm dumb and ha ha ha, he's a white guy, he's wrong. That's, just, that's, the, that's the depth of their arguments, though. Come on. Let, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can put this protest. Aye, aye, aye. Do you want to have a conversation? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just distracted. I'm, I'm distracted. I'm sorry. All right. your argument all morning. So let, let me try Y'all to put this in me. context with what the people here are doing and who they are counter-protesting, okay? Right. Because you're not here representing. Some of you, some of your, they're, they're not here representing um, sort of an anti-diversity message. That's not why they're here. Okay, these folks are coming here because they're anti-gay. They're right. Anti- because they're anti-abortion, extremist, fundamentalist Christians. Okay. Right. So that that is what these people are here standing up to. I guess there, there's some merit in protesting that, but I mean, for me, for, like, if if they were just protesting or at least being skeptical about the the drag kid thing. Um, I don't think that that's particularly surprising, you know. A lot of this stuff's happening really fast, and and it's like very kooky, in my opinion. It's very extreme. What what, what is your what is your problem with uh, teaching children about diverse cultures, diverse ideas? Well, that's very that's very vague, isn't it? No, it's a very it's a very. I'm I'm asking you. I'd say the burden of proof is on you guys to tell me why diversity is in and of itself a good thing. That I think that's more how I would frame it. Okay, I have. (laughs) This is not what's being read today. Right. But it's ones that were read in the past. They don't. They're not sure which one's going to be read today. So it's Annie's plaid shirt and good night, Darth Vader. Right. Is there? What are your questions? Uh, well, that's not typically, I mean, I don't, you know, from what I've seen, it's more like Billy's 20 dads and like, you know, it's a lot of this like... Is that a book? Pre- something like that. I don't know what the title is. Okay, well, this is about a girl who... Wears this is a gotcha. Like, this is a gotcha. This is a gotcha. I, I just grabbed books from the table, man. I don't know what to tell you. It will be read by a drag queen. And I, a lot of drag queens don't wear plaid shirts. But why is that, though? Why, why specifically the arguably intrinsically sexual scene of drag queens? Like, why it's that so in particular, with kids in particular? I, so I don't think the drag queens are very sexual. Oh, my God. They're sexual. I think they're intrinsically in and of themselves sexual. Oh, no, dra- like to teaching children about sex in general? I think... It's it's iffy, dude. It <laughs> it's a little yikes department, dude. It's a little on the yikes department. So you're anti-sexual education. No, it, you're, tw- you're you're twisting it around. Like well, why don't you make it clear? Then? Like this twerking ten-year-old drag queens being used to sell Converse. Anybody. Desmond is amazing. Come on. Amazing. That Converse used this kid to sell rainbow fucking sneakers during Pride Month. Oh well, that's sneakers. sneakers. That's not condoms. It's it's co- it's boutique bourgeois corporate like we call it rainbow capitalism, oh, okay. right? Sure. It's how is that doing with condoms and shit right now? Drag I didn't know we were talking about condoms. You said condoms. I said and converse. Oh, I said okay. converse. Converse sneakers. That's condoms and sneakers. If you want to wear them like that, that's <laughs> well, that's your that's I your choice. Said, you know, what's, she already said. We're not talking about drag queens being sexual. We're talking about drag queens being stories. Yeah. I'm saying I'm firmly asserting that they are that and scene me, do you want me to go is, get more books? is in and of itself sexual. I'm sure I could find you a book that you have a problem on with. On the sidewalk could be sexual then. What what you should, should, in their what, outward color display? Let's go back to the diversity thing. What do you think should be done with non-whites in this country? Nothing. If you're opposed to diversity, they should they, they should a good thing. What should be done with them? They should take care of their own and everybody should take care of their own people. But you showed up by yourself today. <laughs> there's a, I mean, there's not a lot of people who have the cojones to come out here like this. That sounds like, that sounds like a very libertarian perspective. It's, it's a freedom of association well, perspective. Individualism. And is that what you're saying? Some degree of collectivism is fine, you know. And I think, I think, and from my perspective, whites are the only group that are being punished for for having in-group preference as whites. You are so ignorant. It's laughable. So what would happen if I were to say out, out loud, I'm pro-white? What would happen to me, do you think, socially? What, what would happen to me? Let's go through the list of things I that would happen to me. I don't care about what happens to me. You're an asshole. That's not the, <laughs> that's not the point. 
The point is, I would be fired from my job. They would phone zap my work. They would get me fired. We don't Activists of this caliber. They would get me kicked off of social media. They would get me kicked off of payment processors, leftist ad- advocates, activists, Antifa, that sort of thing. They're seriously not worried about you. That's not the point. They don't care about your point. Attacking me personally is not an argument. <laughs> it's not an argument. It's fine. It's fine. That's fine. But, no, but coming out as an explicitly pro-white person is met with way more derision and scorn than, Why for instance, supporting BLM. He asked me a question, so yes, he is. He's clearly talking to somebody else. Well, these leftist advocates, their eyes tend to glaze over when complicated concepts are brought forth. Like, hey, if all these other groups can have in-group preference, why is it bad for whites to have in-group preference? You, dumb. I'm dumb, okay. Well, I think if you understand it within the context of the racism that's clearly happening around us in the country, why people, why your employer would would respond in that manner when you come out and say you're pro-white, I think you're, take, you're taking it, you're, you're totally ignoring the clear context of racism and bigotry that's out there. You don't have to look any further than the Charlottesville situation. I was filming that, actually. I was down there filming it. Were you? I got, I got blasted in the... Well, the entire atmosphere was... Pepper, pepper spray and what, bear mace. What, what did you think but about that protest? Were you I think there were a lot of LARPers who probably got over it the next week on both sides. There were probably a lot of feds. Uh, there were probably a lot of like people who want to trigger and own the libs or whatever. And when you control for all those people, there were probably like seven white supremacists. Well, which is sort of like... That, that's like par and parcel for like how insignificant they are. So I don't know. So is being pro-white in and of itself racist? Is that... Because Charlottesville? No. So, sure. Do and by the way, I'm not even necessarily pro-white. I'm just sure. saying, like, you, I observe you, this. Favorite, you but, but why would you say pro-white are you pro instead black? of saying pro-people? I don't well, understand. What, what, how, are, you, are you pro-black? Are you pro? Are you pro black? I guess so. I mean, I'm I'm in favor of them. I'm pro them having like uh, autonomy for their own people. Sure, absolutely. Are you opposed to public ed- education? No, but I think <laughs> I think it's most teachers probably don't have. Uh, I mean, don't like fifty percent of black students come out of there barely able to read and write and stuff like that. No, MPS does not like properly educate black students or or about it. I went to Rufus King International in high school. Your anecdotal instance is fascinating, but I mean, no, MPS is a are you in, are you in favor of privatizing all education? I'm not sure about that. No? Yeah. I'm not I'm not well, like I said I'm not like liber I'm not a libertarian. So then there's, like, some, there's some line here. We're getting we're getting close to sort of a line in your argument. The collective bargaining unionized well I you know that's gone but yeah. uh, the teachers union does not appear to be pro student. They yeah, tend to be pro teacher. Why, why do you, you think know? that it's acceptable then, or why is it acceptable to you to have public education up the 12th grade? Acceptable to? I mean, but well, that's just what people have decided in the society I live in. But, but, but you're against the privatization of education. You've just said that. I think. Well, I think they should have some degree of a choice. I guess. Like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be entirely opposed to the voucher thing. And they have 40 Should they be stuck in failing public they schools have a or? Failing rate in the state of Wisconsin, which is and a higher not failing rate than MPS and schools. Not held and a lot of the times, it, I have to look that up. Like I didn't make no this one. up. These are statistics, dude. I have to look that up. Okay. Yeah, look it up. They have a forty-one percent failing rate in the state of Wisconsin as of like twenty fifteen. It's probably higher now. If there's an opportunity for someone to go to a uh, maybe a charter school or whatever, and they're poor and they can't afford it. Yeah, charter How do we... schools, people stole a hundred million dollars for that since 2003. Okay, I'd have to look that up. They don't have Sto- regulation. So okay. Because, and they do it in the name of choice, to give children a religious choice. And actually, they just steal the fucking money and buy cars. That happened in Milwaukee. No shit. Yeah, so... I'm a teacher. I can verify all this. Yeah, like... <laughs> I'm a these are still statistics. you're like old. It's anecdotal evidence. No, these are statistics that you can look up. No, I was referring to your experience in public school. Yeah, my experience, but you keep like moving the goalposts it's like all over the place. Empirical and like you know personal experience. So where are the Christians, let, by the way? Let me ask you a different question. 
let's frame it a little bit differently about the public education thing. Um, it sounds like you're at least open to the idea of public education, and you're not necessarily on board with the privatization of education. I'm not entirely opposed to public education, but I've seen, in particular in Milwaukee, it's not an awesome so then, ride. So then would you It's agree? not particularly, and it's not a funding issue either. They get funded by tens of thousands of dollars per pupil per year. What would you, you know? agree that talking again about public education, and let's say you've got uh, a little fifth grade kid who who doesn't have any money, his parents don't have any money. Would you say that public education for that child is acceptable because we should not deny children of education based on their ability to pay for it or not? I, well, I, I look at it completely differently. I'm, I'm skeptical as to why, why is school compulsory in the first place? Why can't we, you know, allow families, like, I, you know, choice, like, sounds like I'm advocating like a GOP position or whatever, school choice, but like maybe emphasize homeschooling, uh, certifications rather than college, that sort of thing. College. I, I'm trying to get back to this, the, the whole point you're bringing about just rugged individualism. That's that's where you seem to be coming from. On I, well, I think that, well, quite frankly, whites need to be a little bit more collectivist or... Uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna be around much longer uh, so you're you're afraid you're, it's driven by your agenda is driven by fear facts I mean all projected census data is that whites are gonna be a minority you're intimidated you're intimidated by diversity other cultures well diversity is anti-white that's that's what diversity no, is no it is not no that's a, that's a ridiculous multiculturalism and diversity equals anti-white is what it is yeah it is yeah it is you guys your common refrain would be that there's too many white people at this event right so, so, too many white so people too much gentrification too so much that, too many white logic, people then, if, it, if it's just an all-white culture then that's anti-black and anti-Hispanic. No, I think Hispanic and black and white should have autonomy as, as people. That's a collectivist thing that I'm saying. Not not really as rugged individualist. Okay, so say that you've got autonomy. There are autonomous people, non-white people in this country. Do you have a problem with them? No. What do you mean? How so? Well, you're you're going on about being afraid of a multicultural. You're saying that. You're, you're, you're the one asserting that I think that. I haven't said that at all. <laughs> No, I didn't. He said that. You're delusional. Go watch your soaps. You're delusional. I didn't say that. 